Yo, 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 what's up? It's points bet props time. That's right. Yeah, Chris Sims, Chris Sims on button. Check out the podcast. All right. But yeah, it's wild card weekend. I got more props to deliver to you through the courtesy of points bet. All right. And here we go. Here's another one. This is my second prop Sims booster bet that I like for this weekend. All right, I'm going to go to the Sunday night football game on NBC, I'd like to say, and it's the rematch of the Steelers at the Chiefs. We saw a few weeks ago the Chiefs dominated the Steelers, blew them out in the football game, really had their way with them on the offensive side of the ball, did whatever they wanted, all right, and did that without Travis Kelsey in the lineup and did that without having to really overutilize Tyree Kill, who we know is the number one weapon on that offense for the Chiefs. Well, here's where I'm going with this one. I like, in this one, the Sims boost bet, I like Tyreek Hill, 75-plus receiving yards and the Chiefs win, and the Sims boost bet presented by points bet brings it from a plus 140 to a plus 165, all right? It's a pretty good boost. Yes, I know I might not be going on a limb that the Chiefs are going to win the football game, but I am going out on a little bit of a limb to think that Tyreek Hill is going to have 75-plus yards in this, and let me just tell you the reasoning why. You know, I explained earlier, yeah, they had their way with the Steelers defense, no doubt about it, all right, and didn't have to overutilize Tyree Kill. They also ran the ball on the Steelers defense. Steelers are not a good run defense, one of the worst in football. The Steelers have to watch that game and go, wait, we can't sit back and play deep zones and too deep coverage and just die a slow death against the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. There's going to have to be a more aggressive style and change of approach from the Steelers' defense. And within that, I think they're going to have to dabble in man-to-man coverage a little bit more, and I think that's where you're going to see Tyreek Hill come into play. I think they're, I think between that and the fact that he wasn't used a lot in the first matchup, that it's almost going to be forced upon the Kansas City Chiefs to go, wait, we got this matchup, we like it too much. I think there will be more of a concerted effort because of the lack of targets in the first matchup to get Tyree killed the ball in this one. It's a playoff game. It's win or go home. Andy Reid's pretty famous for getting his guys that he knows are the difference makers the ball in these type of situations. And, of course, yes, I'm picking the Chiefs to win because I just don't see many clear paths for why the Steelers can pull off an upset in this one. You know, they're, they're overmatched at a lot of positions. Hey, maybe if T.J. Watt gets a strip sack fumble or two of them and they return a punt, maybe. But it's got to be some crazy things for them to pull off the upset. Again, Sims boost bet, 75-plus yards, Tyreek Hill. Chiefs win the football game. I feel good about it. I hope you feel good about it. Put your money where your mouth is, or maybe I should put my money where your mouth is. Go to points bet. Check it out. All right, everybody, peace out. See you next week. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.